good old fresh fashioned fresh fashioned oh yeah i'm recording baby energy so i was told by one of my friends and then confirmed by my other friends that my energy was good better in the last video and of course me being the insecure person i was was like so all my other videos suck but they're like no 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 it just means that you seem more calm more centered you know and so i thought i'd maybe try to replicate that approach today and i think we're doing a good job because already i feel like i want to hold my arm again and i i feel like that because it's it's sore it's always the right one i don't know why so but yeah feels good i didn't even uh so this is early in the morning so i thought i'd replicate that feeling by uh trying to wake up early and the first thing i pretty much do before i even drink my coffee i didn't even make my bed yet which by the way they say making your bed every day is a great way to build discipline and get you going for the morning and keep you on that straight and that narrow instead of that gay and wide which is some people's flavor maybe it's mine i don't know but i did make my bed not yet so that is for after this video but yeah so we'll see we'll run a little experiment we'll see if uh my energy is good um uh my friend ant said his hypothesis was maybe that it was because you know i was in uh, north carolina and i was seeing friends and family i was able to recharge i was able to be in america uh so yeah i don't know um or it could just be that i woke up early it was the first thing i did and i didn't even think about it and um yeah you just don't have time to be yeah. out of your own skull as much as you'd uh like to well not like to be but are forced to be um so yeah and oh i don't know if you recognize this this is the backyard from the first video the one where i nearly lost my mind out of disappointment and anger and had my replica uh firearm in uh in use as a way to threaten my psyche comically um so yeah so we're back in the same place just trying that experiment with the energy sounds like somebody's shooting off fireworks or something i don't know lighting is not that big of a deal today because it seems kind of soft it looks heavenly actually look let me show this to you you see that back there look at that i don't know if you can hear those uh firecrackers go off but it's pretty interesting so yeah um beautiful day trying the fresh energy thing seeing what's going uh i left my hey funnily enough the last video that jump rope i was utilizing inside of my mother's gym that i got into with that bob don't tell her leasing office i left that in the gym my my i was so stoked i left my jump rope in the gym so tell her leasing office Just don't tell her it's me but i need that jump rope back so um hey it's okay it was only like a seven dollar speed rope anyway it's okay um i'm gonna try to control the gyrotron so i'm not spinning you so much uh as to uh make you vomit everywhere speaking of vomit i have a funny story that involves that and pizza rolls you know where this story is going if you know me if you don't know me you ain't gonna know where this story is going because you don't know me um but maybe that's a different day uh probably never on the interwebs though uh for various obvious reasons if you know the story um but yeah so uh real quick just want to hit on a couple things here they're not really that consequential like i said i'm kind of relaxed this morning i've had nothing to really quote unquote blog about yet um but i am back oh i remember that video i said i was going to do like a little bonus video where i'm like oh i'm taking videos inside where i'm in the thank <coughs> god it's like we have a mouth oh tweet oh god i don't know what happened i just swallowed a whole bunch of morning 
Um, but yeah, remember I told you that I was going to do that thing where I was going to do like a little bonus video and like sneak some, some moving filmography while in the airport. I did do that. That was cool. I got some, uh, I like got right into uh, security and then was eating my sister's empanada, which was very good. She made that for me, made a couple for my, for me and my dad and it was delicious. And I called her after and I was like, Sean Marie, I did a cool video inside the airport. Like, and then I sneaked myself onto the plane and did another cool video. And here's the best part. I had your empanada. That's right. I smuggled it through Sakura and I ate it. And she was like, oh, I mean, that's cool. They'll let you like bring a little thing. Just the main thing isn't, you know, is fluids. And then don't bring over like, you know, 3.4 ounces or whatever. I was like, oh, well, I suddenly feel way less cool. But your empanada was very hot still because it was wrapped in aluminum. It was great. Um, so yeah, back in San Diego. I'm still trying to ride that energy. If it's not just morning stuff, if it is because of, um, you know, family and like, the energy, well, I guess we're going to find out. But either way, I'm going to try to ride that. I'm going to keep riding that energy. I have uh, felt a little travel under the weatherness, but I feel much better today. And uh, I didn't get to work out yesterday um, or the day before, but I did the day before the day before. So that was cool. I wonder if this is like too blinding. Is this like annoying for you to watch? Either way, I guess it's too late now. There's nothing we can do about it except keep watching uh, or leave. You don't have to stay, please. Subscribe, like, oh my God, I need you. Uh, but yeah, so um, and just hit that little bell icon, okay? <laughs> I get why people have to do that, but uh, I don't know. Like, if you're going to do at least be creative about it or just, like, not care at all, I'm sort of messing up because I'm not being creative about it and I'm kind of caring. So, ugh. But, uh, yeah, I'm back. Lots of fun. So, two things I just want to hit on real quick. One, my friend Danny, love him. He introduced me to a – I don't know if I should say this already because it's, like, I kind of want to save it and I'm really stoked. So, I'm just going to say this. So, uh, our plane, our, our, I was coming back from Charlotte to here, our, like, uh, what do you call those flight attendants? Our flight attendant was amazing. Can't say the same about the pilot. My God. Like we were at one point, like, you know, just doing the whole, like, oh, I don't know, like flying in the air thing. And then I guess we hit a pocket and the guy next to me was like, ah! and I was like, <laughs> well, that's a free ride. And, uh, you know, people started freaking out a little bit, but whatever. Like, there's far more dangerous things than a plane ride. But what really took us all off guard, and the Navy guy just started talking about, like, we were 30 minutes away from, or 30 seconds from the landing, and he was like, yeah, everyone thinks they're going to be all great in a plane crash, but it's going to be terrible. Everyone's just screaming and stuff. We'll be nosediving. Everyone's calm. I'm like, no, man, you don't get it. I know how to breathe, okay? I'm going to be doing the yogi breath. I want to be relaxing myself like we did when we were children, all right, when we would be having those crazy bouts of crying. You remember this? And uh, we would try to calm ourselves down, like downs, <laughs> unconsciously by breathing a certain way, which was uh, like a <laughs> You remember that? So it's like two short breaths in, one long breath out. And uh, I have actually just learned this from another guy a couple days ago. And I, I thought I'd try it. I would try it again. And boy, wouldn't you know that it felt like it did when I was a kid, kind of. It brought me back there. And I, it just does relax you, you know? So I don't know whether that came up first in the conversation with the Navy guy and the nose diving while the chick next to me was freaking out uh, 30 seconds before landing. A landing of which we landed on like one wheel cockeyed. <laughs> so that was great. <laughs> we hear this guy talking shit. And then she's like, I don't know. And then we just land on one wheel. And I'm like, <laughs> it was great. Um, wish everybody was then, right? Um, but yeah, he's probably right. Everyone would probably be screaming. I I'm not sure that breathing technique would be all that helpful. Which brings us to the last thing. Speaking of helpful and breathing technique. Mother's Cake, the band. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. I am a musician. I play music a long time. It's kind of like my one of my main things. Maybe I'll do like a, a musical thing for you guys one day. Or at least some sort of like ASMR. Yeah. Like a mukbang. I'm just eating crap. Crud in front of your eyeballs. Um... Sweaty, sweaty eyeballs. Guy balls and eyeballs. Oh, boy. Anyway, so yeah, uh, Mother's Milk. Showed me this just one song. Didn't even, like, say anything. No context. Still hasn't responded to what I said because I was like, whoa. Uh, The song, I think it was called, was it, uh, the name of the album, anyway, is Cyberfunk. Uh, I wish I could tell you, like, the first song you showed me again because I can't remember the name. But it doesn't matter. The whole album is, like, rocking. So many different genres. It's getting me excited about like just listening and playing music again. Like, it's dope. So I uh, had had that plan for my my friend and roommate Brian this morning, and I was just like, "Yes, are you feeling this?" And we were like, "Yeah." We like rocked it up. It's not even eight. It's like seven thirty or something. I didn't even have my coffee. Like that's how dope it is. So can't wait to listen to more of that. We're gonna be ringing the new year. Speaking of which, what are your New Year's plans? Happy New Year. 2021. Here's to a better 2020. That'll be like the uh, phrasing of it or whatever. I don't know. What do you think? Is it going to be better? Is it going to be worse? Was 2020 bad or was it merely just different? You know, these are, these are questions and somewhere out there are probably not answers, uh, at least right now, because everything's mutable. So we say, unless you're on the blockchain, then that's immutable. So they say, so yeah, don't know what really what I'm going to do tonight. Feeling better. Just going to get back on schedule, do the thing. I don't know if I need to make a video every day, right? I feel like that's a little forced. It's not as fun. Like maybe I'm I'm just too much, right? I, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Like it's good for discipline, right? Just getting the video out. But also it's like at what point does it feel like you're just forcing some stuff too much, right? Rather than just sort of going with the flow and letting things naturally build up organically. But I guess that defeats the whole purpose of doing something every day. Because even if you create trash, at least it just keeps you consistent. And you never know what you're going to get on a day that you thought was going to be off. Maybe that's your gold. When you thought it was going to just be fool's gold. Speaking of fool's gold, don't be in cash right now. A, B, C. Anything but cash, baby. But yeah, feeling good. Got my video done out of the way. Maybe the energy's different. I don't know. But getting it done first thing in the morning is kind of cool. I still want to switch it up and go different places and do odd things because this would just get boring all the time, I think. I mean, it's beautiful, right? But I don't know. You want more. Look, there's a hummingbird. Look, there's more. You're welcome. Look at that. Yes. We have lots of hummingbirds back here. In fact, San Diego, a lot of people don't know this, is sort of like the bird watching capital of the United States, I think, or something like that. I think I read that somewhere. I don't, I definitely don't think I made that up. Although that is possible because I make a lot of things up. I say it's because I'm creative. Other people say it's because I'm a pathological liar, but I don't think it's that. Uh, it could be that. Um, anyway, I think I pretty much covered everything. I don't really think I need to talk about anything else, right? So anyway, Hope the energy was better. Um, And yeah, here's to a a tremendous 2021. (laughs) As As the Carrington event happens, a solar flare zaps us all. An EMP explodes over the United States, courtesy of the CCP. So yeah, hopefully it's not that. All right, I'll see ya. Love ya. Bye.